Hello everyone, it's HL Monkey here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So if you cannot tell, I'm, well I'm sitting outside the Cheesecake Factory, but I'm also, can you see it? I'm sitting outside of Barnes and Noble. Can you, there it is. I'm also sitting outside of Barnes and Noble because today I'm going to be taking us all on another manga shopping journey, adventure, extravaganza, experience. You're just coming shopping with me, basically. So I'm going to Barnes & Noble today for a couple of reasons. And number one, I actually need to return a volume. I totally bought the next volume of a series that I'm not even collecting anymore. So that was kind of like, I literally like was driving home. I'm like, I no longer own this series. Why did I buy this volume? So I need to return that. But then also Barnes & Noble is having a buy one, I think, buy one, get one 50% off of all manga and anime related things. Uh, but let's not delay, and let's get into the shopping experience. I'm going to go to this Barnes & Noble, and then also maybe a local bookstore. We'll see. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. Let's hope they have some good stuff. And I'll keep you posted on the haul, because we, we always love a good Barnes & Noble haul, don't we? <laughs> okay, so first up here, there is a... Uh, just table of novels, it seems like, light novels, Don May's, uh, kind of just whatever, I guess a conglomerate of random things. This one looks interesting, I just like the, the cover, Airship, I don't, I feel like Seven Seas has a bajillion different, like, I don't know, things, and I'm just like, what is going on? Uh, and then this is kind of the entrance to the main section, and then I always look at the, <laughs> at the restock cart. I honestly feel kind of embarrassed to do it. I'm going to be that person, and I'm going to look and see what they're restocking. Like, what is the tea? So then we got to the main shelves. Uh, they had Vin's, Vinland Saga Volume 13. I still, I can't get it because I'm waiting for how the deluxes look. I really hope those look so good, but who freaking, I don't, I don't know. Um, moving on down, Yokai Watch. I don't know why, it's just Volume 5. But it's cute! Like, the, the little guys... Ever since I've gotten a cat, I'm like, oh, I love... Anything cats, I'm like, ah, oh, I need. Um, yep, yeah. and then also I pointed out, you know the Dawn, uh, I am missing a volume that I need to get, uh, but I'm missing many volumes. <laughs> we also have 1721, same creator of Chainsaw Man. Haven't read that yet, is that good? I do not know. And then, uh, that's Boker on Kisha Bay. The, the cover is so and then even the back of the cover i'm like they did such a good job with that it looks so freaking good i'm so glad to have it uh some other things here to look at under ninja that was just all right i'm looking forward to another volume i hope it gets better as you know as time progresses um and then oh man so this series i love me a good rumiko takahashi series i am a just avid proponent of my Sonny Koku. Is this one good? Like, how would we compare this to the, Is it more slice of life? Is it more action? Okay, and then we have Shaman King, very thick books, and then Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon's always kind of been interesting. I kind of grew up in a uh, agricultural environment, I guess. This is also a newer uh, jump release. Do we like it? Is it good? It kind of seems like it could be funny. I've kind of been enjoying more uh, chill slice of life stuff recently. I know. Who am I? I don't know. Skip and Loafer. Excited for the anime. I think that'll be really good. And then these, they're so big. <laughs> they're, so, they're so big. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't get past that. You know, that's definitely not the biggest, biggest manga volume to exist, but you know what? And then Rosa Versailles, I'm not going to lie, these are stunning. Stunning hardcovers. I love kind of, uh, is it embossing? I don't even know. But I love, like, the details of the cover. Like, honestly, I've always been tempted to pick that up. Oh, Ragna Crypt, we love. We love, or any of you are reading it. I hope you're reading it, because I really like it. It's really good. Really good stuff. We got some Noragami. Love Noragami. Also, One Punch Man. There is not a lot of One Punch Man. I feel like I normally see, like, a significant like amount of volumes but i really haven't recently uh parasite hardcovers and the original ones what one do we like better i like the hardcovers i feel like that's kind of the universal take and here's, here's me showing the uh the uh, uh sale which if you need manga and you haven't participated in the sale yet 
go on. Uh, My Sunny Koku, so good. I still need to read that stupid volume 10. I just don't want it to end. You know what I mean? Like, I just, it's so good. I just don't want to finish the series. Mob Psycho, I like the idea of it, but I just don't know if I'll ever pick up the volumes. I don't know. It, the art is just like, eh. Like, I get that's kind of the charm, but ugh, I don't know. And then we have Nana Volume 1. This series has recently kind of undergone a uh, restock, and it's interesting. I'm interested. Everyone really, like, I feel like likes it. Um, and I feel like it's, like, really highly acclaimed. Like, if you think of a shoujo, I feel like a lot of people think of Nana. I don't know, even, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Who freaking knows? The Kirby manga. I have volume one. I didn't get any other volumes. I haven't even read volume one, but if you know me, you know how much I love Kirby. So, so I just had to get that volume one purely for that. Uh, and then Land of the Lustrous. So many of you guys have been telling me to pick that up and I just, I don't know why. I don't know what the hesitation is because I'm sure it's freaking good. I just, I, I just haven't yet. So Red Hood, volume two is out apparently. I don't know when that came out. I was gonna give it a shot, but I heard that it got canceled. And I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really want to get into a canceled series. I don't know. I don't know, that's just me. I just struggle with X. I'm like, I'm never gonna know how it was supposed to end. <laughs> and then right here we have Island in a Puddle uh, that is actually done by the same mangaka as Erased, which I'm actually really enjoying recently. I am getting back into it, which I am very excited about because I've been loving it. Some Gantz, mm, Gantz. Also Geek Hitman, has anyone read this? In like a really weird way, it kind of seems like it would be a fun time. You know, in like a way that doesn't make sense, I feel like it could be a fun time. Good night, pun pun. We all know my thoughts on that. We, no need to dwell. <laughs> we all know my thoughts on good night, pun pun. Some high Q. Okay, I have also been close to getting high Q a couple times, or at least volume one. I feel like I should just read or uh, watch the anime. I think it would be a good series to watch the anime for, and I just haven't. So many things I want to watch, but I'm currently watching uh, The Big Bang Theory, so I'm, I'm currently booked. <laughs> Some D Gray Man, which is good to see. Some Dragon Ball, we know how much I love Dragon Ball. Also, Dr. Stone, this would be a series that I will get when a box set hopefully comes out. Um, just like the longer series, I'm like, ugh, if I don't have any volumes, I'm like, you know, theoretically it should be a box set. Fire Force, love the Fire Force Omnis. I think they look so good. I'm really impressed with Kodansha on those ones. I don't really love the origami ones, but I think the Fire Force ones are really nice. So glad that they did good on those at least. We got some, how do you say it? Card Captor Sakura? I don't really know. The singles, which I don't know if those are like, I don't think they're rare, but like, it's just like, you, you already know that those volumes have been there for a while, a while. We also have Chojin X. I adore that cover. Like that is just such a clean cover. I did something about it. Probably one of my favorite covers in my collection. I might make a video on that. Would anyone want to see that? Or am I just like, I don't know. I might pay attention to the covers too much. Death Note and the singles, a lot of volume ones. Holy moly. Uh, I will say the covers of the Death Note singles are really nice. You're definitely kind of losing out on that artwork if you get the black editions, which I have. Beastars. Ending was meh, so I don't have it anymore. <laughs> I sold it. I definitely did sell it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just all right. Blue Box. Oh, I love Blue Box. If you're looking for a good, like, sports slice of life moment, definitely give that a shot. Um, I've been really enjoying it. Volume 3 recently came out. Ooh, the boxer. Mm, so good. Can't wait for Volume 2. It's probably going to be, like, 40 years until Volume 2, but you know what? You, you, get, you take what you can get, I guess. Also, Bungo Stray Dogs, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the people that like Bungo Stray Dogs is like their own group of people. You know what I mean? It's like JoJo's fans are their own group of people, Berserk fans. I think Bungo Stray Dogs also kind of falls under that category. Do we like it? I don't know. Maybe I should try it. Also, at this point, there was definitely someone standing right behind me as I was doing this, so I was definitely a little embarrassed, so forgive me if my camera work sucks. Also, the Apothecary Diaries, so good. I'm a couple volumes behind on that, um, but I definitely really enjoy it. A lot of uh, Attack on Titan nominees below, and then kind of the box set deluxe, whatever the, the flip section. Um, 
Sweat and Silk box set, so good. I love that series. I would have got the box set if it like had like a really notable like addition. Uh, Blom, I have been looking and I Blom for so long. I just never have picked it up. So yeah, maybe one of these days I will. And then we always have some Studio Ghibli stuff. I feel like that's pretty on brand. And then we had some random box sets and like first volumes at Barnes. Like you should try. I don't really know. Some of these picks I'm like, what are these? You know, who's picking these? Uh, so a loving box set clearly ret <laughs> returned and rewrapped. Um, but that's all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really mad that I didn't get that Piccolo figure. I think it looks so good. I honestly, if it's still there, I might go back and get it because I think he looks freaking sick. It's a little spency, and I know that I could probably get it cheaper elsewhere, but like I am, I'm an immediate person. Like I'd rather pay 10 more bucks and have it now versus, you know, saving 10 bucks and getting it later. I don't know, that's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it is bad. Just some more figures and stuff. I really have been enjoying the figure game that uh, Barnes is is going through. I feel like they're, they're, you know, things are improving. And then there is a romance table section. Yeah, so this this is for this is for all those romance individuals. Another sales another <laughs> sale sign. Uh, yeah, and then we have a spicy section, which is funny that it's kind of like oh, blurry. I, I think it's funny that it's kind of like at the end, like people are gonna walk by and see that immediately, and I'm like, okay, that is spicy. <laughs> Okay, so I just got out of the first Barnes & Noble. I actually decided I'm gonna go to another one because it's buy one, get one 50% off and I am a sucker for a good deal. So I got three, 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 three things <laughs> and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. Uh, some of them I've been looking at for a while and one of them is a new one. And this one is the new one, the one that I think recently came out. Uh, it's drawn by the same, it's, it's drawn by Obata, which did Death Note. So I'm kind of like, I'm curious. Uh, that is Shoha Shoten. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. All I know is that this is a newer jump title and it's surrounded, I think, on like comedy. So it's like these guys trying to get into comedy. I don't know. It seems like it could be a fun little slice of life moment. So we're going to give it a shot. I'm trying to broaden what I read. And I think this could be good at that. I don't know. So we'll see how I like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then this next one is one that I've been looking at for a while. Never really knew if I was going to like it. And I'm like, you know what? Today's the day to try. Uh, so I picked up Nana Volume 1. Uh, so many people rave about this series and it is getting a reprint. So it's currently being reprinted. So I don't like, I'm like, now is the time to try it. At least give it the old college try. I don't really have any context. I hear that it's really sad and that it can get like really deep and dark at points. So I don't know. I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna at least give it the one volume try. Uh, and I have been in general been wanting to watch the anime. So maybe if I don't like this, I'll just go anime route. I don't know. We're giving it a shot. And then the last one, I know one of my buddies, uh, Plasm's manga is gonna be really, really happy that I picked this up. Um, I decided to give Silver Spoon a shot. So Silver Spoon is done by the same mangaka as Fullmetal Alchemist. And that is like my third favorite series of all time. It's a slice of life based on agriculture, I believe. And for some context for me is for several, several years, I had horses and like grew up around agriculture, like the farm that I was at had cows and had a lot of animals and like, I've just kind of lived in this world a little bit. So I'm kind of excited to see how this goes. I hope I like it. Uh, it looks very just wholesome. So I don't know. We're gonna give this a shot. I hope I like it. But those are the three things that I picked up at this first Barnes & Noble. Uh, we'll see if the other one has anything that I want. I kind of doubt it because a lot of it's like very like similar stuff. But we'll see. We'll give it a shot. But this is what I got in the first one. And I will keep you posted on the next one. Only the next one isn't super busy because this one was really busy. <laughs> I decided to stop at a, a local store. So that's where we are now. Okay, so this is the local bookstore. They do have like a used manga section, which sometimes has really good stuff, sometimes doesn't. Uh, there wasn't really anything that I wanted. Uh, they had like a Yu-Gi-Oh spinoff. There's so many spinoffs for Yu-Gi-Oh. I cannot keep up. Uh, there's a couple of things that, you know, Yuna Rise of the Yokai Clan, Yokai Clan, that was kind of interesting. 
uh, Blue Exorcist Volume 1, which I really love that series, but nothing that I really wanted. So uh, I just like to look here because you never know what gems you might find. Uh, so first up here, this is a table of women-led manga happy, is it, is it women month? I don't know. I might be wrong. Uh, After the Rain. Okay, this series I have been so close to picking up several times but haven't because I know that it's an age gap and I don't know how I would like that. Age gaps, yeah, they can be okay but they can also really not be okay. What do we think? What does the class think? Um, so just looking at the shelves, some pretty typical stuff. They have this series that I cannot pronounce which I'm so surprised that this got printed because isn't it canceled in Jump? I don't know. I do remember giving it a shot on the Shonen Jump app and just not really loving it, so I kind of get why it was axed if it was. Uh, they also have some box sets um, as well, which is good. Love me a good box set. A lot of Chainsaw Man, um, Chojin X. Love that series. It's just visually so cool. I'm so excited to keep reading that. A lot of Death Note, a lot of Demon Slayer. You know, they got the classics. Some Dora Hidoro, which is good. And they got some Fire Force. Again, it's it's honestly like a lot of your pretty typical stuff. Um, but sometimes they like get reprints in uh, early, which is fun. Then there's like some that I don't even know. And then this is a, uh, I think the graphic novel or comic version of a uh, Donme novel that one of my friends really likes. So I don't know if I would ever get into this. I was kind of told maybe not to, but you know, what are you going to do, I guess? Got some JoJo's, got a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen, as always. Some Komi. Zelda, which is interesting. Is the Zelda, is the Zelda manga good? What do we think? Class, what do we think? <laughs> they also recently uh, reorganized this, which so it's kind of like jarring to, to be moving back this way. You guys don't care, but <laughs> it changed. It did, I promise. <laughs> And a Roni Kenshin Omni, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't need it because I have the singles, but... Got some One Punch Man, some One Piece. I mean, Naruto number six, which is great. And then No Longer Human? Yeah, yeah, No Longer Human. Uh, that was really good. Uh, really sad, but really, really, <laughs> really good. My Hero box set. You know, gotta check off the My Hero box, of course. And then you got some Ghibli stuff, always. Uh... I just, I don't know. I never really got onto the Ghibli train. Like, it's great, and I really, you know, have a lot of respect for it, but, like, I just haven't, you know, me personally, I'm not on that, I'm not on that train. Got some World Trigger, which is a series that I do want to try eventually. I just need to find a volume one. Some Yona, always looking for that volume seven. Tower of God. They also have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Omni. Oh, there goes Tower of God. Yu-Gi-Oh! Omni. I have been wanting to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know. I feel like there's just... It's a classic series. It's just kind of like a... I don't know. And like with what the Monica did, you know, or may he rest in peace, but like what he did, like, I, I don't know. Like, I just... Very interested. Monica seems like a really obviously good guy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot. Perhaps. <laughs> so, I just got out of the store. Uh, pretty similar things that I saw when I went there this past weekend. I'm pretty consistent at these at these places. The only thing that I picked up is actually Yu-Gi-Oh! So I picked up the uh, first three-in-one. I'm interested. I don't know. Like, there's Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of one of those classic series, and I just want to know more. And I think, honestly, the next Barnes & Noble that I'm going to go to has four, five, and six, the Omni. So then I'll be able to, like, just dive into, like, a select handful of volumes of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I said why not, and I guess we'll see where it goes. I don't know if these volumes are hard to find. I feel like I've heard that this series is getting difficult to collect. I don't know, but we're gonna see. I want to try it at least. So, now on to the next store, which is Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Okay, so we are at another Barnes and Noble here, just seeing what they have. Again, when there's a deal, I'm going, I'm going, be, I'm going to be there, right? Uh, so you know the dawn again. I always point this out. And then, okay, so I was pranked. 
I thought they had four, five, and six, but they had seven, eight, and nine, which is totally fine. I mean, listen, not the end of the world, but, like, I just was wrong. Also, the Italian Prince of Yu Hakusho Volume 3, that's brutal. That thing is, like, thin. Thin. Very, very thin. So I'm talking about Harakakun. I do love the spines. I think they look so cool. A lot of Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Revengers. To Your Eternity, right? A lot of really good stuff. Ultraman. I've actually really been enjoying Ultraman. That's been that's been actually really quite quite a fun read. Uh, Wand Dance. Has anyone read Wand Dance? What do we think? Do we like it? Do we hate it? What's the consensus? What do we think? From Spy Family, as always, Summertime Rendering. So good. I feel like I haven't seen any of the Summertime Rendering hardcovers in store. Also, new Oshimi work. Looks creepy. Well, uh, scary. Uncomfortable? Yes. But, you know what? That's Oshimi. That's <laughs> Oshimi. I didn't know that there was another one coming out by him. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. He kind of, he low-key pumps him out like crazy, which, you know what? Respect. I do respect that. Got a cart, another cart. Wasn't anything that I needed, but you gotta look. Got some Call of the Night. That was a good read. I did really enjoy that. Some Chainsaw Man, of course. Chojin X, I'm gonna mention it every time. That cover looks so good. Colorless. Highly recommend Colorless if you haven't given it a shot already. It's kind of like a cool... I don't know, it's like a cool concept. I think it's different. And I kind of like it. Death Note, obviously. I feel like the Black Editions have gotten a reprint, or am I just tripping? Also, why does she look like that? I feel like Nezuko, I feel like they did my, I feel like they did my girl dirty on that spine. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm like, it looks just a bit, a bit silly. I feel like they could have done her a little bit better, but that's just, that's just me being picky. I don't know. Maybe it's like an iconic moment. I don't really know. I don't really watch her or read Demon Slayer. So, well, I did. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna stop. I'm <laughs> gonna end that point. Uh, more Fire Force. Also, Fly Me to the Moon, Volume 16. Sheesh. I don't know what happened. What happened to the original plot of the movie, but it looked good. Like, that just freaking looks cool. Some Gantz. I need to get back into Gantz. It's been, it's just, it's so, it's so good. It's so good. Sakamoto Days, the covers are clean. I'll give them that. A lot of seven deadly sins an entire shelf worth of seven deadly sins people better start buying that <laughs> snow white and the red hair snow white with the red hair and the white red hair white hair oh my gosh it's too late I, it's it's late when i'm editing this i'm not gonna lie it is quite late Ragna, good to see. Record of Ragnarok, also really just mindless fun series and I love it. You might hear Pippin in the background. He is just, uh, he is climbing all over my computer right now. Got some Mermaid Saga. Also, uh, this is new. Is that new? I feel like I haven't seen that before. Uh, not something that I would probably pick up, but I just haven't seen it before. I like kind of just going at Barnes and being like, what's the tea? Like, what's new? What's happening? Got some My Hero, obviously. Volume 2 of Nana. I'm interested. I always kind of try to give it more than just a one volume try. I was gonna pick up volume three, but it kind of looked a little busted, so I'm like, you know what? It's me. It's I. I'm good. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Got a lot of Comey. Got the Attack on Titan. Huge bricks. I just, I am waiting for 10 years until they release a nicer version. After the Rain, again, like, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Also, 86. I feel like, have I heard good things about 86, the light novel? I don't even remember. I feel like I've, I struggled so hard to put that back in. Uh, I feel like I've heard good things though about 86. I might be tripping. Am I tripping? Tell me if I am. That would be appreciated. They got some hard covers. You already know that shelf is heavy. <laughs> We got the singles as well, some Black Butler as always, Black Clover, Black Lagoon, Blue Exorcist, so good. I need to get back into Blue Exorcist. There's a lot of series that I'm like, I need to get back into, but it's true. It is true. Yeah, I was thinking about picking up the next couple volumes that I needed. I don't know, I honestly just need to do like a big write stuff order for this series, honestly. 
Like, look at how cool that cover looks. Look at the little, little, little cat. Okay, so I just got out of the last store last barnes and noble and i'm gonna show you guys what i got honestly i was a little pranked uh, what i thought was there uh was not there it was something else but that's okay uh so let's just go through so the first thing that i picked up is uh not a volume two um i tend to like to give series a couple more volumes than just one and especially this one because i've heard again so many good things so i'm like you know what i'm gonna give it at least the two volume treatment there was a volume three there I was tempted to pick it up, but it was kind of damaged, and I'm kind of a stickler for that if I'm buying new manga. It's, you know, it needs to be in good condition, right? So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I kind of want to read this soon because I just, I want to know what the hype is about. So I got this. And then <laughs> the volume that I was kind of pranked on uh, that I thought was a different set of numbers uh, was Yu-Gi-Oh! This is actually, uh, I don't know what, it's, I think it's the third Omni, so volume 7, 8, and 9, quick quick mass. Uh, so I picked this up. Honestly, did I need to? No, but I did so that I could get the deal on Nana. So <laughs> here we are. Honestly, I really think that I will like this series. And again, push comes to shove, I return it and it's not the end of the world. It's fine. We survive. So that is all of the manga and I guess the end of my shopping trip for today. Picked up some interesting stuff. Some of the stuff I've been wanting to pick up for a while. Very excited. Uh, glad that I was able to find everything that I found. Um, I would love to know, did you pick up anything on the sale so far? What are you looking for? What are you going to pick up? Please let me know in the comments down below. But guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next one.